yes, this car has been out for several months, but before there's only one way to get it. Play it for the Motorsport. Just just play it, you know, you don't have to buy it or anything, you just have to play it. So mainly the only way you could play it was to buy it. And for roughly seventy dollars, give or take, you got one of the buggiest and worst racing games of all time. But now that that uh, deal is over, everybody is free to get the Corvette E-Ray from the festival so you could get as many as you'd like. And so far, I just have one because I want to see if it's good. I didn't uh, dive into the customization or I didn't even hear it yet, but this is the hybrid Corvette. It's got an electric motor up front driving the front wheels and then the big bad V8 is driving the rears. But, let's see, because my friend has one of these, He and I've seen him drive it a ton of times before, and it has some insane customization. So, it sounds really good too, quick off the line, the electric motor definitely helping out. Sounds good, I don't know if it sounds just like the C8 Corvette, I don't really drive the C8 stock, so. But it's a really unique car. I mean, this is a hybrid Corvette. And I don't know if, it, and I don't know if it's kind of like the 918. Does the 918, like the best behind me, does that have the V8 driving the rear wheels and the motor driving the fronts? Or do they kind of work in unison? I don't know. But also, let me show you something else too. So not only do we have the E-Ray, but we have a giant new car pack in the game too, which has eight car, I mean not eight, seven cars, sorry, seven. And for $10, you can get them all. So let me just sort, there we go. So you have the Corvette C8.R, I just sorted by the wrong thing. But yeah, also one thing I could show you if I can find it again. Oh yeah, the E-Ray, 2024, the third 2024 car in the game. 645 horsepower, pretty heavy, still a 6.1 liter or 6.2 liter V8, whatever. That's in the game for 181,000 credits free. Well, like, you don't have to play the game, it's just the in-game credits. It's not literally free, it's still 181,000 credits. But if you have a new car pack consisting of the Corvette C.R, or the C8, this Cadillac, which we're actually going to dive in first when I get the car pack. My mom is coming home with a gift card. So, we're going to check out the Caddy first. We also got a Lexus, too. What else do we have? We have the... Oh, the 911 GT3R. That's probably my favorite car in the car pack with the uh, C8 uh, R2. There's also... We're going to check this out on Thursday or Friday with the new Ford GT they're adding, which is literally my favorite car. Because this car... The big M8 is an iconic meme, kind of forgotten, but still legendary. So we are definitely going to uh, check that out with the GT, because the GT actually, this was next to the 4 GT whenever it was taken. The picture was taken, and that's what sparked the meme. So the GT and the M8 are kind of together. We also got finally something against the Squad to Corsa. We have the 488 GTE. And we also have the AMG GT3 as well. And that's it. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cars. But as of now, but as of now, we have a very old car. Well, not exactly very old. And yes, it does have a wide body kit. But before we throw that on, I want to check out. I swear we have some customization. We could throw on a giant splitter. Or, I don't even know what to go with anymore. Do we do a wide body kit or that actually looks so sick. And for the wing, we have the high down force wing, the Z06 wing. It's a Sigala wide body kit. We are not throwing that wing on it because that is hideous. Or, no wing. The side skirts, we have a giant thing down there so we can kind of have like an E-Ray Z06. So with the wide body kit, it completely changes the front where you can't even tell that it's an E-Ray anymore. I mean, it's cool. 
but at the same time, we kind of have a wide body like this. We have the Street Fighter wide body. We also have the Z06, so we're going to keep it looking like the uh, E-Ray. So we're going to throw on the customization real quick. We'll go with the can arts. We have the giant splitter, like a doorstep, and then we have that. That's really cool. We're also going to throw on the high downforce wing and the side skirts. Or wait, do we go high downforce? Or the uh, Z06 wing is a little thicker, so it looks better. And then with the engines, we do have engine swaps. Or we could twin turbo or supercharge this engine. Also, we are all-wheel drive. I'm pretty sure we could just like straight up disable the motor or just send all the power to the rear wheels. I don't really know how that works. But let's see, we have the 6.1 liter V8. We have a 5.2 liter Audi R8 V10, a 6.5 liter Lamborghini V12, a racing V12 7.7 liter V12, or a racing V8. I'm going to keep the stock motor, actually. Yeah, we have an Aventador V12, a racing Ferrari V12, a Cabrera, TVR Cabrera V12, or Trophy Truck V8. All right. And we are going to twin turbo it, because why not? And then we throw in some racing slicks. The rear tires... Oh, wow, those are actually really thick. Jeez. We're just going to adjust our fitment. Now, the wheels, I don't really like the, um... The five-spoke stock. I'm having a brain fart. There were some nice HREs that I did throw on the Corvette Z06 we had a few months ago. If I can find those again, I'm going to go with them. I think they are... I imagine they were in uh, multi-piece. Because they were multi-pieces, but they're right here in Specialized. So I'll go with that. Also, before we do the um, transmission, we are going to throw on just all of this good stuff. Lower the weight to 3,100 pounds. Still super heavy because of the battery and stuff. We can throw all this in. I'm assuming it's a 7-speed... It's an 8-speed stock. We'll take that down to a 7-speed. Let's go with the race differential. And then... We're actually going to do a couple builds on this. Because I know this thing could probably get to X-Class. If we threw in a more powerful engine and stuff. But we got to get with the turbos. We're at 1,000 horsepower flat without doing the turbos. So we'll come back to those. We have 1,071 horsepower normally. If we throw in the twin turbo, that's 1,300 horsepower with anti-lag in a hybrid. Now that I say that out loud, that actually makes a lot of sense. But I wish we could also change out, like, imagine with hybrid cars, we could actually throw away in the race motor and batteries. So it could be like 1,800 horsepower plus the motors. Okay, now that we got the car all tuned up, we are actually going to do another build. And yes, I have 44 million credits. 44.4 million credits. So we could buy a lot of these E-Rays. And we are going to do a special build on each one. But see, they are completely purchasable from the auto show. We're not going to go with the same color. We're actually going to go with... I really like this blue. So we'll go with the blue with the stripes. We'll do that. And I don't even have a Force of Sport. I never played it. I'm probably never going to play it because let's be honest kind of sucks and plus horizon forever plus they're probably gonna add a lot of the the uh, motorsport cars to horizon so at the same time yeah <laughs> the next horizon not this horizon the next horizon which i did some calculations it should be announced sometime soon like over the summer maybe and come out maybe in like november october november somewhere around there but we are going to do the full power build we get 1,356 horsepower from this motor if we twin turbo it. The last one got 1,329. I'm, actually, how much power does the Kerbera engine make? I'd imagine it was only like 1,200 maybe. That's 1,200. We didn't do the twin turbos yet. 1,307. So that's good to know. The racing V12, I think it only made like 1,100. That is a complete oxymoron. It only makes 1,100. Yet again, we're also talking about 1,300 horsepower motors, too. So, that's it. 1,191 horsepower from that. The 5.2 liter V10. I think it makes just over 1,000. If we just max out here. 
I swear it made like just over a thousand horsepower. That's eleven hundred. It makes twelve hundred and twelve hundred fifteen horsepower. I want to say twelve hundred fifteen. We skipped the Lamborghini V12, but how much does this make? I'm assuming about the same as the others, kind of like a middle ground. 1,400 horsepower. So the Aventador, 1,500 horsepower. So the Aventador V12 is what we go with. Yeah, that's 1,515 horsepower. That's kind of ironic. And then I bet you if we throw on some better tires and weight reduction, we are skyrocketing to X-Class. Or this thing is going to get very close. Maybe if you throw on some lighter rims. Yeah, let's just pull out all the stops on this. One. So I have 1,500 horsepower. We go with a removed wing. Everything else is fine. Do a racing clutch. A race transmission, a seven speed, all this. We should get to. Actually, I don't know if we're gonna make it to X class. Maybe if we remove like the wide body kit, that might give us a better chance. Because then we could do this. We could also thicken the front tires too. And of course, we go back to the weight reduction. We actually get more um, class out of the wide body kit. Huh. So throw that back on. That brings us up to 953 without the weight reduction. 979 with the weight reduction. 980 with a roll cage. And then we... So the maximum class we can get out of the E-Ray with the wide body kit is S2 985. 1500 horsepower weighing 3300 pounds and then there is nothing else we can wait this brings us up to 97 is there anything else i missed because i know this thing could probably easily get to x class but it tops out no way that's the racing suspension all of this is good we did the weight reduction, right? Yeah, we did full weight reduction. All of this. Jeez. Did the twin turbo? Real drive will not help us. And we take the wide body. So the max class we can get is S2 987. Huh. It's honestly surprising. But I think I'm just gonna return this to S1. That was just a test. I I'm gonna use this car a lot, I feel. So we are going to go with a full uh, S1 build on this. We could twin turbo, but I think the main thing is that fitment is horrible. Like, let's be real. The fitment on this is horrible. Also, we got, also it's extremely heavy. I didn't want to do that. So, we'll also fix the weight, too. After we get some good wheels. These two, underneath the T37s, look honestly the best out of the uh, new performance wheels. And then the suspension, too. We're going to drop that down. <clears throat> drop the suspension. Throw on weight reduction. So we're super light. Throw all this in. <clears throat> My throat. Throw in the race clutch. Seven speed. A race of race driveline and differential. And that's it for, like, mostly everything. Oh, yeah, the tires, too. We could throw on slicks or semi-slicks. I say semi-slicks so you have more room for power. This thing kind of sounds mediocre. And the exhaust doesn't change that, huh? Weird. Can we do camshaft? You can do the race camshaft. No throttle body, although that would kind of help, but I guess I actually put my desk. 
But I guess that does kind of make sense. That's so why we have no break upgrades, and that is a full S1 build done! Way a lot lighter, 741 horsepower, and we're still all-wheel drive. Honestly, I am super glad that they finally added this to the festival. Because otherwise, there would be like no way I could even get this. It's actually incredible, honestly. And we drop it down. Chin this. This is absolutely perfect. And there we go. New car, the Corvette E-Ray. I still can't believe it's in the festival. And then we still have the car pack to do. This is like one of my favorite updates ever, to be honest. Still long.